Good day to you, my fellow vlog viewer friends. Hope you're doing all right. Today is Friday, May 15th, 2009. May 15th, 2009. May 15th, 2009. Anyway, I'm an idiot. Thank you guys so much for... Um, I see that by by all the views and all the plays between YouTube, MySpace, and Facebook, you guys really like to to watch me stuff my face with bread and beef jerky. So I'm glad that you uh, enjoyed that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yesterday I ate a lot. Today I'm gonna be drinking. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I had some inter interesting comments, interesting feedback. Yeah, you guys really seem to like that. Uh, my boy Pastor Paul, he's he's actually from Rock Hill, South Carolina, made a very good comment on my uh, MySpace page, on the, on the video there, talking about how, you know, um, there will be no atheists in hell. He actually said that that was told to him by an old pastor one time. And he said, hey, kind of think about it, you know, no atheists in hell, obviously, because by the time they get to hell, they'll already have seen and stood before the living God. So they'll know that there's a God. Get it? I think everybody gets it. Good look on that, uh, Pastor Paul. And my boy Ty, also from Rock Hill, says, uh, shop at Harris Teeter, not Walmart. I'm sorry, Ty. I'm sorry, Ty. I, I love Walmart. I'm, I'm, I'm a Wally World guy. So for all you Target fans out there, I can't be hanging with the Target, even if you do call it Target. So look, today I'm going to play a drinking game. Now, back when I was in the world, a drinking game usually had to do with some kind of alcoholic beverage. And I was thinking to myself, you know, the world plays drinking games, you know, with alcoholic beverages. Why can't we as Christians play a drinking game? You know, with some good old high quality H2O. <laughs> deer Park. Read the label. Look at that. Look at that deer standing up there all proud. I'm a deer. So anyway, we're going to play a drinking game today. That's right. Well, when I was in the world, you know, playing with beer or liquor, you know, the game could consist of something I don't know. And every time something happened you had to take a shot or you had to take a drink until you were just like passed out well in the Christian world we play drinking games like this well this is this is the name of this drinking game it's called Jesus I tell a story and every time that I say the name Jesus I have to take a drink of water Deer Park water so we're just gonna see how this goes now to play this game you have to be dehydrated and you have to drink until you get hydrated. Anyway, just bear with me. Alright, so here we go. Anyway, so I'm going to start telling you a story, um, you know, and uh, well, we'll just see how it goes. So anyway, the other day I was walking down the street, you know what I'm saying, and I ran into this uh, old friend of mine, you know, and uh, he actually, on his shirt, um, he had this weird type of logo, and it almost reminded me of this one shirt that I had. Um, that I got from that clothing line called JesusIsMyCoach.com. Oh wait, I just said Jesus. Up oh, here we go. Up 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 up. Okay, wow, that was great. So anyway, uh, you know, I kind of I told him about that. I said, hey, that looks just like the shirt that I got from this Christian clothing company. And uh, you know, and then uh, you know, he said he had heard of that. Christian Clothing Company when I told him the name, um, but he said he wasn't really a big believer in Jesus. Oh, snap, I said it again. Oh, here I go. Oh, whoa. man, I'll tell you what, I don't know how many more of these I can take. So anyway, I'm telling him, you know, I'm, so we're, you know, he's telling me he doesn't really know, you know, how, you know, he doesn't really have a faith in Christ. And so, you know, I, you know, so I kind of was like, well, you know, I understand, man, you know, it, uh, way back in the day, you know, I was the same way. I didn't really have much of a faith in Christ either. You thought I was going to say Jesus, didn't you? Oh, snap. I just said it. Oh, 
oh man, I can feel myself getting hydrated. So anyway, you know, I just decided that I was going to sit down and have a talk with him about Jesus. Oh, there I go, I keep saying it. So anyway, I'm having to talk to him about the Lord, you know, and I was, you know, just trying to kind of tell him how I asked the Lord to come into my life and the things I was going through at the time and just all my personal experiences. And, you know, by the end of the conversation, he said, you know, I still really don't know much about this Jesus thing. <sighs> Did I just say it again? But he said, you know what, I think I'm ready to accept Jesus into my life and my heart. I said, you really want to know Jesus? This is what you do. Dear Jesus. And I went through the spiel with him. And he gave his life to Christ. And now my bottle's empty. So, uh... I have been filled up with the water, with the living water. Anyway, yeah, what are y'all doing this weekend? I, I know I got a pretty good weekend planned out. My little brother, you might have met him if you watched one of my previous vlogs. I did ha have him on a vlog here one day. I think he's turning 11, and he's got a birthday party. So I'm going to be driving to my hometown on uh, Saturday. And I'll be back Saturday night, and I'm going to go to church on Sunday, and I'm going to try to, between in, in between all this time, uh, spend some good time with some good friends, some good brothers and sisters in Christ, in Jesus Christ. Oh, I said it again. I can't really drink anything, so I guess I'll start eating the bottle. Have a good weekend. See you Monday. Peace.